Am I hell? Do I look like... No. I've already started recording. Um, welcome. I guess. Thank you. You were welcome yesterday. <laughs> Shake my head. Um, I don't know what to do, how to start this. I'm not a YouTuber. When I stream, I just go into it. You need to stop making comments. You need to be quiet. I need to be quiet. Anyway, it's this kind of day. Um, we're doing a Silver the Hedgehog inspired makeup look. That's what we're doing. This is my reference picture. And we shall begin. Where to begin? I have all my makeup around here. I have emotional support behind me. <laughs> <laughs> and I have exactly half an hour before my mum comes back from work and I do want to get this shit off before that. Ugh. Where to begin? Uh, where to begin? The fun fact about me, I'm supposed to make this YouTube video a get ready with me. You're not getting I'm just doing this for content to be fair. You can't even see that. You might be able to see it. I'll post photos. But um, I did a makeup course last year before I decided to give it up and do a different course. But everything I learned about makeup still continues over. I don't like how zoomed out that zoomed in that is how um i forgot what i was saying <laughs> this is definitely not the right yellow but we we like i said we may do with what we have in this household i have another blue somewhere but i cannot be bothered to go and get it Anyway, as I was saying, I did do a makeup course and the skills have been taken over. They will not be forgotten. I bet my um, makeup teacher would be so proud. And also, you need to stop chatting shit in that group chat, boy. I'm saying You're saying everything. No, no. Mm. My makeup teacher last year also said if you have a hard time getting a colour to stay instead of like swiping on it, you pat it on. Which really helps for because sometimes the colours do not go like that. Do I have a blue? Is that a good blue? That's too dark. Everything's falling apart. Ah! You're breaking everything? No, not breaking everything. It's just falling apart. I need you to be quiet and offer some support. And if people really expect me to be like, this is the product I'm using, you can all get stuffed. You just did that one. <laughs> I am like an inch away from slapping you. I was going to go with throwing that at yeah. yeah, that would be, that, that would be the closest option. Ooh, ooh. Although I am not looking forward to breaking my palette because some little weasel won't shut up. This makeup can only, this to be fair, it's light makeup, it's not going to make my eyes look darker than they already are because of lack of sleep. That's the thing, get sleep kids. Although I suppose when you're 18 like me, with a job and college, what is sleep? What is it? 
Let's be real. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Sleepers just don't know. Uh, also, just because I'm qualified, also in makeup does not mean I'm a professional. Do not take my advice. If you want to go into an industry job, please be professional. Like, do the proper PPE and everything. Do not, like, do a me. Although, I suppose, when you're a makeup artist, you do tend to grow and do tend to cheat the books in a way. But like I said, please, for the love of God, do the proper things that you're supposed to. Salon standards and all that. Do not take whatever I say. Whatever I say, I have either learnt from others or self. I am also putting a disclaimer. Like I said, I am not a professional. I'm probably doing this all wrong. I probably called the wrong brush, the wrong name. You know, we gotta move on in this world. Um, and I'm also really heavily underprepared, but like, anyway, how's everyone been doing? Oh, good, thank you. I love how you're just answering, so I just don't look really lonely. <laughs> I appreciate emotional it. Support. Your like. emotional support. Yeah. Now that's real. Oh, that's what it looks like. Kind of looks nothing like the reference photo. They did so much better than me. Although I think they have more lid space than me. But I am winging it. I'm putting my own twist on it. Because, yeah. I'm quirky like that. Anyway, angled brush, and we're doing eyeliner. Also, I'm not doing the face at all because I don't like doing foundation, and this isn't a proper tutorial. Anyway, I'm gonna start at the center of my lid. Deep concentration mode while doing eyeliner. <laughs> And uh, there we go. I actually do have a thinner brush for eyeliner somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Is that it? No. I have so many angled brush, but the angled brush that I need is like not here and it's severely not a vibe. I need it right now. Um, it's probably in here, not good. Yeah, it is. I found it. Never mind. It's in my bag. Also, it's, I hate eyeliner. Eyeliner is literally the worst to do. There we go. That uh, is one eye done. As like a random question, does anyone watch YouTube or makeup videos? And if so, who? As a child growing up, I used to watch a lot of Michelle Phan. I think my first video by her was either the Sailor Moon or the Gold Barbie look or it could have been the Lady Gaga or the Hatsune Miku. I don't remember but it was a long ass time ago like her early days of YouTube and she kind of like inspired me to get into makeup and how quick easy tutorial like it was it was literally like a five minute tutorial the other person I used to watch, and still do, even though they kind of went on a break, and that was Mikey from Glam and Gore. They, I don't know, they were just like so, not inspirational, but yeah, inspirational to me. But the way that they kept engaging their content was really good. And the way that when they do challenges, you always heard like, 
her friend, her boyfriend, like I have right now behind the camera. <laughs> Little waves. And um, behind the camera and everything, and it just make it all the better. Other YouTubers I watch, and a lot of just little streamers and small YouTubers. I watch the Overnight Channel, aka TFIL, and I also watch um, Sam and Colby and all that sort of stuff. And obviously, if you couldn't tell by the abundance of posters, I like Genshin and anime and K pop. You didn't really need to know. You didn't need to know that information, but now you do. Do what you will, talk to me about it. I will probably, if I got a following, reply to comments. And also, it is the same less is more. So, the less product you use, the more it will come up. It is still the same. And like, I don't think this eye would look as good if I didn't add the definition because if you see, I've added definition here. But it's basically like, um, yeah. My advice as well for going into makeup professionally is I'd, I wouldn't say the best way to do freelance because, like I said, I am not claiming to be a makeup professional. But I would definitely say you always start at the bottom in a makeup job. You'll probably start working in, like, let's say, Morphe as like a cashier selling makeup products. And then you work your way up. We had Samantha Helen, who runs Essentials, come into the college the once and she even said I was working at a retail store I did not expect my products to bl blow up and everything and that's kind of the thing you never expect it you never expect anything you always start at the bottom and work your way up I would definitely say if you're a makeup artist do little jobs someone wants their brides doing well bridal makeup do it get the job they'll probably end up promoting you if you're freelance same with like bridesmaids anything kids halloween parties do that put yourself out there put your portfolio out there always take photos of your even your worst works the behind the scenes put it all on a document Put it on your CV and then send it out to employers, even if you just put it on like Indeed or something. There'll be someone out there that will be looking for someone and someone will want you. Ha! Huh. Also, I fluffed up the eyeliner. <laughs> put that way too high, although I suppose it could work. I can easily just raise the other one up a bit. The boy is sitting there. What do you think? Good. He's... You're not just saying that, are you? No, don't you have to be. Huh? Do you full face? Yes. Yes. Is this the first time you see me with makeup on? Like, like in person? No, you probably don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, rude. No, because I did it last time and it wasn't proper and it looked questionable. Yeah. yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Eyeliner out and uh, there's also a saying in makeup, got it from Mikey. And I feel like it also applies to eyeliner as well, not just eyebrows and that's sisters, not twins. Eyeliner and eyebrows will never look the same. One will always be slightly different. So, sisters, but not twins. Why do I like that eye better than that one? It's fine. This is a learning curve. Ooh. So 
also you'll always look stupid when doing eyeliner you can't pull a face cannot not pull a face sorry I think that's as close as we're gonna get they're not even but I don't care this one needs more of the lighter color I think Also, I'm not just copying that person, by the way. I am just going to take a twist on it as well. But that was the inspiration. I also really like them. They are not like a content creator or anything. They are a cosplayer on TikTok. And they do Silver the Hedgehog, who is arguably like one of the best Sonic characters. Like, straight after Shadow the Hedgehog. This is my opinion. Please don't attack me. Everyone has their own opinion. Some people might prefer, I don't know, someone else. But I, ooh. But I prefer that person. And you prefer someone else. That is completely a okay. Slay. It's getting there. It's getting there, guys. It's getting there. Also, for those wondering why I keep sniffing, I haven't got a cold. No, I just have a bopped nose. I've had it since Comic-Con, which was four months ago. And the doctors are like, no, nothing's wrong. And it's like, well, I've got a random blocked nose. No matter how much I block my nose and use Octarina, it will just block straight up again. What the fuck? Okie dokie. I don't know whether that to add the circle things they do. I feel like I should. But I also feel like I'm just lazy. Is that doable? I'm going to tie on my wrist. Oh, it's definitely doable. But will it look like crap is the suggestion. The suggestion? I meant the question. That's not a bad circle. I won't get this even. Also, the makeup's starting to irritate my eyes, so if I blink, uh, that's why. Definitely looks like a robot. Is that the vibe I was going for? No. But we make do with what we have in this household. Also, there is, this is just a massive trust the process. And I feel like a lot of makeup artists and a lot of people that do makeup can agree with tr just trust the process. It will end up working out in the end. And if it doesn't, well, that's a shame. It's definitely not even, but... <laughs> we make do. Then what am I doing? I'm just literally paying the original colour back over just to just to bring down it in colour I promise it looks better on a photo or it should look better on a photo just gonna take a white Had it around. Okay. Okie dokie. We make do. It will do. I just keep adding more to it. Like I said, there's no plan going into this. Okay, I think we're almost done. Slay! Next is curl lashes. 
do I actually feel like colouring my eyelashes? I feel like it made the look. And then mascara, everyone's favourite best friend. Oh, I should have done a white mascara. That would have been epic. Change of plans. Change of plants. Turn it on. Okay, there wasn't actually too much on there. So, because this is a Sonic video, I haven't actually talked much about Sonic, but what is everyone's favourite Sonic character? Ironically, because I'm doing a Silver the Hedgehog, my favourite character I think I mentioned earlier is Shadow. I feel like such a basic bitch saying that. But definitely the Hedgehogs. Sonic, Silver and Shadow. They are probably, ironically, my top three. Ow, put myself in the eye. Maybe white mascara wasn't the way to go. Or I need a new one, and if so, that is so depressing. For the lips, I think I'm gonna keep them neutral. Although I am going to quickly like wipe some of my face. Like I said, for the lips, I'm probably going to keep them neutral. Or as neutral as my range of lipsticks can allow. That's pretty neutral. I'll do that. Where's me mirror? And then I think I'm gonna add gloss. I've got this new gloss. Oh, that is nice. Nice.
And I think we are donezo. That is the finished look. yeah photos will be up on my instagram and i hope you enjoyed peace